Unfortunately, we're not dealing with that here. But Steve, the weather <laughs> is supposed to be beautiful. I've already got my bathing suit out and ready to go wow. tomorrow. I know. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Some people love the heat. Other people not big fans of it. Either way, delivering good news for both crowds as the heat won't last all that long. But for the people that do like the heat, uh, get ready. The next couple days will be on the hot side. Let's take a look at some of those storm reports because this was just a violent weekend in the Midwest. Uh, I've done a tally, 126 reported tornadoes in parts of Oklahoma, Nebraska, Iowa. And so uh, our prayers and thoughts are with those people as they clean up from the devastation. Luckily, when that cold front arrives in our neck of the woods, it will not have the momentum, it will not have the power, and we won't have the severe weather threat, thankfully so. So we get ready for the heat on Monday. Temperatures at or around 90 for inland locations. Tuesday, we're back at it again, upper 80s. But this time around, we'll have some isolated to scattered hit or miss storms. What they'll do is cool us off. Off behind that front on Wednesday afternoon after some morning showers, our temperatures sink back to more comfortable levels. So 90 degrees tomorrow, average is 71. The record is 91, so that's one that we'll keep our eyes on all day long. 88 on Tuesday, that's the day that the humidity feels highest, and then back to normalish spring weather here with highs in the upper 70s to low 80s. So two big weather stories this week. The one will be the temperatures. The other one is the pollen. It is just out of control. High levels of tree pollen. Weeds luckily not in action right now, but medium to high levels of grass. That's come up and going up and high levels of mold. So if you suffer from allergies, make sure that you're taking all those steps uh, to keep yourself comfortable. 69 right now in town, not cooling off tonight here. Live sweep of the radar, nice and quiet. Here's a look at the Midwest. They just can't catch a break. More tornado warnings here tonight across parts of Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. We will not be dealing with severe weather, but we will get some storms here on Tuesday. So mid 60s here by five in the morning, 90 degrees tomorrow. We started 65 at 7 in the morning, 75 by 9 in the morning, and then upper 80s to lower 90s. It will not be incredibly humid, but it will be on the hot side here tomorrow afternoon. 89 in Columbia tomorrow, Glen Elk, uh, 88 degrees for you. Cecil County looking at mid to upper 80s here. That's because of a bay influence. So pulling it out and showing you the area. Low 90s here west of the Beltway. Inside the Beltway, low 90s, and then right along the shorelines, you'll be in the middle 80s. Rain chances, not a lot of rain in this forecast, which we're catching a break from Tuesday and into early Wednesday morning. You can see that firing up here on our future cast. A few storms here by the time we get into Tuesday afternoon. Some of those showers will linger around into Wednesday morning at 80 degrees, and then just nice, enjoyable spring weather here. How about that? Thursday and Friday, two good looking days. Still have time to work on the weekend forecast, but it looks like at least some of that time. We'll be dodging some showers. Kelsey, back over to you. All right, Steve, thank you. Check in tomorrow morning on WJZ starting at 4.30 for updated news, weather, and traffic.